sense of urgency to, to schedule when you see a couple guys in line possibly going down maybe from sort of being out. Uh, we knew seriously. from the we knew from the start we needed to have a lot of intensity and a sense of urgency going into camp to begin with, and we're just pushing at it every day. We're grinding. How many different spots are you working at right now? Right now, I'm working in the Leo and the Cheetah, and the Cheetah is just uh, another form of Leo. But from a personal standpoint, just I mean, is there anything Scoop said to you in the last day or so regarding this? Or just, just told me to keep plugging away, keep plugging away. Told all of us we got to plug away and we got to get better every day. Day one and day six, what's been the biggest change from you guys then to a week now later? We we know what the coaches expect now. From spring to the first few days of camp, we, we picked off right where we left off and we're playing with a lot of intensity and a sense of urgency. You mentioned intensity. One thing Coach Jones seems to love is the word competition. It comes up over and over again. You guys even start practice now with these one-on-one -on -one competitions. How has the team responded to that? And do you guys like that he starts to practice with these kinds of battles? It lets us know where his mind is, and it, it kind of puts our mind where his is, and it, it shows us that competition is everything. It's game of football. That's what it's all about. You guys have those drills, too, with the O-line and D-line get together, and you guys battle it up and things. Do you guys like that one-on-one -on -one competition with everybody watching and that kind of pressure when you get into that drill? Love it. We love it. As a defense line, we know every day we're going against the best offensive line in the country, and by that, we know we're getting better every day. Troy, who's impressed you on your defense? Who, who are you out there with that's impressed you so far in game? In our defense, uh, Dontavia Sapp has been doing a tremendous job, man. We pretty much expected it coming from spring and the things he did all summer, all the extra work, it's, it's showing and it's paying off. Who are the guys that are getting you guys in the right place? So where's the communication come from when you guys are doing team stuff? Our seniors are doing a good job on and off the field. A lot of defensively, a lot of communication is coming from the back end. Defensive line, we're definitely talking a lot more than we were in the spring. Linebackers giving calls. It's really coming together. So it's like a collective effort then definitely. to get, get guys in the right spot? Definitely. And that's what the coaches are pushing for. And on the back end, Brian Randolph, I assume, right? Right. Yeah. Randolph is doing an amazing job coming back, and he, he's picking up exactly where everybody expected. How's Kurt Majet look like? Is he doing a lot of the team stuff, and how's he moving around? Kurt's taking it day by day. He's working as hard as he can, and he looks good. Think he'll step up in a leadership role when Jock is out with Brooklyn Thumbnail. A lot of our defensive line is all expected to step up and play a new role in their part. And our seniors, Coach Jones emphasizes the leadership of our seniors, and they're really rising to the occasion. They're trying to get it done. Nope, nobody wants to see a teammate go down, but do you see this as an opportunity to you know, earn some first team reps? Every day, I'm working hard, just like I know the person next to me and the person behind me in front of me is working hard. And that's what's expected every day. That's the new standard. Is there a greater sense of urgency with Jock Rose out, with Corey Green getting in or on his knee with, with you guys in front seven? Every day is a sense of urgency, like I said. Yesterday, day before, today, tomorrow, we always play with intensity and a sense of urgency. That's just our style of play. Do you see that defensive line with all the experience and the improvement there that guys are, are staying off of the linebackers, like the, that D-line is helping keep guys off of the linebackers? Definitely, and that's one of the things we knew we had to work on. If we wanted AJ and Sat and Kurt and the rest of our linebackers to make plays, we knew we had to keep people off of them, but also be able to make plays ourselves, and we're doing an excellent job at that, much better. So how are you better since this spring? Or where have you improved, you think, over the last several months? My knee's feeling better. My footwork is getting back to where it was. Need a little work on my hands, but overall, I'm still getting back into it. Did you feel fully healthy? I mean, no concerns over that at all? It never comes out fully in the back of your mind? Feeling good, and some days I may be sore, but that's just the nature of the beast, and I shake it off and I keep it going. That's what we need me to do. Some guys have given a lot of a lot of praise to Coach Stripling. Just in your opinion, how is he different from Coach Palermo and some other guys you've had on the defensive line? Coach Strip is from day one, let us know that we we were his point of emphasis and he wanted to do everything to get us better. And day by day, every day, he pushes us forward and he pushes us to become better. And you can see that we are because of it. Can you list anything he's improved upon you in terms of being a pass rusher? Me, he always gets on me about my first step. My first step, he always goes with Troy. He's stepping out. With Troy is not long enough. So day by day, my constantly, my first step is getting better. Like I said, my footwork is improving every day just because he preaches it. and. It's working. So, Troy, I imagine you've already been asked, but has your mindset changed at all tonight with a couple guys on the shelf? Every day is the same. The way we work is with intensity and passion, and that's that's the standard. That's how we play each and every day. Can you get the sense, though, that you might have a couple more opportunities to maybe carve a roll out for yourself with, with Jacquez and Bree maybe out a little bit? We all, every day we, we know we have to outwork the person behind us, in front of us, to the side of us, and that's our standard. We work. We play hard, we play with passion, and that's what Coach Jones expects. How do you feel like you can help this team? 
I feel like my ability to come off the edge is definitely my asset, and I, I have to keep improving on it to where I can make it as productive as possible for our defense. So anyone offensively that's caught your eye and impressed you when you guys have done teamwork? Our offensive line as a whole is doing a really good job of finishing. They're playing hard and in turn making us better. Freshman Dylan Wiseman is doing an excellent job, really turning a few heads. But what's, what makes him good? Because a couple guys have mentioned Dylan Wiseman. Why, why has he been so tough and impressive? He just comes off the ball well and he finishes. That, that's a big key for young guys. And I learned it last year and still learned this year is finishing this. That's the game of football. Everyone comes off the ball, but who finishes? And he does a good job of that.